Hi, peoples. Is my nose still red? Oh, maybe not as much. That's good. Okay, so I've been thinking lately and I want to share some of my thoughts with you. Thank you so much for letting me spew. I've been thinking about disciplines versus passion. And I've focused on one or the other at different times in my life. I know people who have emphasized one over the other, but I really believe, especially as I've gotten older, that you need both. Because what I've experienced is that to do something because it is your duty, to do it because you know you should, um, opens the door for all kinds of experiences of passion. And when you simply do what you feel like doing because it's authentic, you miss out on a lot. So, um, for instance, if you decide, you know what, I just go to church because I've always gone to church. It's like an obligation. It doesn't even mean anything. It's hollow and empty. And why do I even do this? What a hypocrite I am. And so you decide, I'm not going to church anymore. Or I'm going to church when I feel like it because that's the kind of authentic offering I want to bring to God. There's, there's something valid about that and I think there are times in our lives when we need to reevaluate why we do things and to reorient ourselves to um, what we may or may not be doing as, as spiritual activities. However, <laughs> yesterday I had this experience where um, I try and spend a certain amount of time every week with alone with Jesus really focused on him I call it my secret place time and it isn't very much time each week but man I'm I'm bound to determine to try and protect that time and to do it no matter what because uh, a mother gets up in the middle of the night to feed her crying newborn whether she wants to or not because there's a deeper wanting than wanting if you know what I mean you may not want to but there's a deeper desire. There's, there's a love that's deeper than our feelings. So um, I was in my secret place time and realizing that I'm really disconnected from the way Jesus feels about me. And the reason I know that I am is because I've been feeling so insecure lately. And I've just been really um, hard on myself. I haven't been liking myself at all and therefore I get really weird in my relationships with others and I just feel really insecure. So I was praying, Lord, I need to reconnect with your heart for me. And um, feeling discouraged and tired and, and after a while not really wanting to be there in my secret place time anymore and thinking maybe I should put it off, maybe that's enough for today and but I hadn't spent as much time as I, as my discipline requires. So I decided, okay, I'll stay here. And suddenly I was sucked into this experience I can't explain. It came from the outside of me. I did not have it inside of me anywhere. Um, it was an experience of the way Jesus felt about me. And um, I wrote something and as I reread it and reread it crying, it just burned on the inside of me. It was a beautiful experience. And it was just what I had prayed for. It was a reconnection with how Jesus felt about me. Oh my word, that's just, that's my identity. That's my name. I, I can't function. I, I can't even be without that. Boy, I needed it. And boy, I need it today and every day. And afterwards I thought to myself, what if when I had been feeling like, oh, I don't want to be here. What if I'd said, Cherie, this isn't authentic. How can this even mean anything to the Lord? You sitting here trying to do this. Come back when you feel it. If I had listened to that voice and um, gone away and done something else, I would have completely missed that beautiful experience that Jesus and I needed so much. He needed it. Maybe not as much as I did, but he needed to tell me again how he felt about me. And we would both have missed it if I had thrown away my discipline because it wasn't authentic. 
Anyway, those are just some of my thoughts. Oh, five minutes. Oh, you guys are, you guys are amazing. Anyway, maybe I'll try and remake this and make it shorter. I don't think I can. Well, it is what it is. Thanks so much, guys. And maybe just, uh, you know, don't throw away spiritual disciplines. I think they're really worthwhile. That's probably what I could have said in about 30 seconds. <laughs> Bye for now.